how to actually create a calorie deficit. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great because I sure am and I'm really enjoying these videos. So in this video, we're going to go over how to actually create a calorie deficit because in the past videos, I've been going on and on about calorie deficit and but I've never talked about how to actually get into a calorie deficit, okay? What does calorie deficit mean? Well, calorie deficit means eating less that you, than you burn. Simple as that. Now, be careful because simple doesn't always mean easy. Be, being in a calorie deficit for a prolonged period of time might be one of the toughest challenges some guy uh, faces. So yeah, don't, don't, don't think just because something is e simple to understand, it's easy, right? Easy to do. There are two different things. There are two different ball, ball games. <laughs> so let's get started with uh, my steps, okay? So step number one, you have to find out, fi find out how much you're burning, okay? If you find that out, <clears throat> then it's easy. If you know you're burning 2,500, then you just eat 2,000. If you know you're burning 3,000, just eat 2,500. Just cut 500 calories. Easy as that. Now, the hard part is finding out how much you're burning. Now, you might be tempted to just Google how much calorie I'm burning or calorie calculator or what do they call these things? Uh, calculate my TDDD, well, like my metabolism and stuff. And you, you'll get like a simple calculator where you plug in your uh, height and weight and like your gender and it tells you how much calories you're burning. I mean, how ridiculous is that? It's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Why? Because calories, the calories your body body's burning is dependent on so many variables, like hundreds of variables. It depends on your uh, genetics. It depends on, uh, yes, your weight, your height, your uh, gender, of course, your activity levels. Even your uh, your mood, okay, affects how much calories you're burning. Sometimes I'm more chill, like now, which is not bad, but I'm chill. So I'm not burning a ton of calories talking to you. Sometimes I'm standing up and jumping around just because I feel like it. I'm burning a ton of more calories. Doesn't have to do with gender or height or weight or anything, okay? Has to do with work, has to do with a ton of variables, like weather, like uh, financial situation, everything affects how much you're moving, and how much you're burning, stress levels, everything, okay? So just plugging in your data to some stupid calculator you found online ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry to burst your bubble. So how do I do it? How do I go about it with my clients and how do I do it with, to myself? Well, you get started with a hypothesis, okay? Just hype, you, you just figure out how much calories you're kind of eating and how many calories would make you happy and satisfied. And you say, you have, the hypothesis is, if I eat X amount of calories, I lose Y amount of weight, okay? And you have, it doesn't have to be right. You just have to make a hypothesis. And everything will start moving. Everything will start working for you. Okay? Why? Because there are mo many things at play that you can't fathom right now. It's like confirmation bias. It is like just your frame of I will lose so, so many calories. It's a lot of things that will be at play when you make this hypothesis. I can get into very many, like I can get into much detail, like make a 30 minute video, but you really don't have to know all, this, all those things. But you have to make a hypothesis of I'll eat X amount of calories and I'll burn Y amount of weight, okay? And the amount of calories you come up with is just random, kind of random. And you think about like, let's say, 
how much calories I'm really eating? I think I'm eating like 3,000. How much calories would make me happy and would, wouldn't make me miserable and sad? Mm, 20, 400, 2,500, 2,200, 2,700, whatever. You just eat that, okay? It's easy as that. Then you wait two weeks. If you've lost the weight you wanted, you're, you're good to go. You're set to go. If you didn't, you just eat a little bit less. Simple as that. So that's a like two-week experiment that you do on yourself. No amount of machines, experiments, money you throw into like doctors and stuff will be more accurate than this two-week experiment that you're going to do on yourself. Okay? So, yeah, that's how I go about it. Just make a hypothesis. doesn't have to be right from the get-go. You wait two weeks. If you didn't lose the weight you wanted, let's say you eat 2,500 and you wait two weeks and you've lost like half a pound and you want to lose one pound. Well, try 2,400, try 2,300 and wait another two weeks and now it's one pound and you stick to that. Okay, it's easy as that. So, yeah, don't make it hard on yourself. It doesn't have to be. It's simple. Simple doesn't always mean easy. Tracking your calories accurately. Sticking with the diet. Having to wait two weeks instead of just a second because we're used to like uh, social media and instant gratification. Those are the hard parts. The hard part isn't to get into calorie deficit. The hard part is maintaining it and having faith that you make it out all right. Okay? So I hope you really enjoyed this video because I'm sure I really did. If you did, uh, hit a like. Tell me what else you want to see in the future. And until next time, peace out.